Hi. So, uh, today we will uh, start uh, nonlinear estimation and uh, here is the content of this uh, topic uh, linear models and uh, nonlinear models and uh, so we will give detailed definition of uh, nonlinear models and then uh, we will talk about uh, least square in nonlinear case. So, how to fit uh, nonlinear model using uh, least square technique. Okay, so, uh, given a set of observations uh, x i y i, uh, the starting point is that we start with a uh, simple linear regression model or if we have more than one regressor, we start with multiple linear regression model. Of course, uh, uh, those models are uh, linear model. Uh, also, uh, you must have realized that you know the polynomial regression is also a linear model. Okay. So, let me uh, give the detailed definition of you know, non-linear model and also uh, linear model. So, linear model So, models that are linear in parameter are called linear model. So, this is important linear in parameters not in the regressor. So, uh, you know that this is uh, the model for multiple linear regression model beta naught plus beta 1 z 1 plus beta 2 z 2 plus say beta k minus 1 x sorry z k minus 1 plus epsilon. Okay. So, where the z i is any function of the basic regressor variables, basic regressors. Okay. So, what I mean by this? I say uh, the basic regressors are say x 1, x 2, uh, x uh, say p minus 1. Okay. Then uh, y equal to say beta naught plus beta 1 into x 1 minus x 2 plus beta 2 x 1 minus x 2 square plus epsilon. So, this is this is a linear model okay, because here this z 2. So, this is my z 2 z 1 z 2 could, could be any function of the basic regressors, but this model is linear in parameters. The parameters are beta naught beta 1 and beta 2. So, this model is called uh, linear models. Okay. So, then what we mean by uh, nonlinear model? Nonlinear model or models. So, models that are nonlinear in parameters are called nonlinear model right so uh, nonlinear in parameters okay let me give example say y equal to e to the power of theta 1 plus theta 2 into t plus epsilon so 
uh, here y is the response variable and in nonlinear case generally uh, we represent the regressor variable by t instead of x. So, this is a nonlinear model because uh, it is nonlinear in, in theta 1 and theta, theta 2. So, let me give one more example say so, y equal to theta 1 by theta 1 minus theta 2 into e to the power of minus theta 2 t minus e to the power of minus theta 1 t plus epsilon. So, uh, this is very clear that this, this uh, model is nonlinear in in the in parameters. So, the parameters are theta 1 and theta 2 here and this is also nonlinear. So, these are the nonlinear models and here t is regressors regressor variable and theta r parameter. Okay. Well, uh, now, yeah, so let me write, let me call it say 1 and 2. So, 1 and 2 are nonlinear in the sense that, in the sense that they involve they involve the parameters theta 1 and theta 2 in nonlinear way, nonlinear way. That is why these two uh, models are uh, called nonlinear and now you can see that this 1 can be transformed to can be transformed to say if you take a uh, take log base e. So, l n y is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 t plus epsilon. So, then this uh, once you take this transformation this uh, nonlinear model becomes linear. Okay. So, linear on the data ln y and uh, t. So, this type of nonlinear functions are called uh, intrinsically linear. So, to this one, uh, one is called intrinsically linear, because uh, you can very easily transform this uh, nonlinear model to a linear model by taking some transformation. Okay. Well, so we understood what is linear model, what is nonlinear model, and uh, this is the notation. You know, uh, we for the linear and nonlinear case. So here. Uh, so, given a nonlinear model, we are going to uh, estimate the pa parameter of the uh, nonlinear model. Uh, here are some notations. You can see that uh, for response variable, uh, in the linear case, we represent it by y. So, y generally stands for the response variable, and in nonlinear case also, y stands for uh, response variable and uh, subscripts it is uh, for linear case it is uh, i is from 1 to n and then here you know just uh, notation and here we will use instead of i instead of call calling y i, I we will say y u and u is also for 1 to n. So, n observations and in case of linear 
models, we use the regressor variables, the standard notations are x 1, x 2, x k minus 1, but here we will be using t 1, t 2, t k minus 1. Well, and in case of linear, the parameters are beta naught, beta 1 and beta k minus 1 and in case of nonlinear, we use uh, theta 1, theta 2 and theta k minus 1, this notation you know and uh, to make your life difficult. Uh, well, now uh, let me uh, start with the nonlinear model, say general model y equal to f t 1, t 2, t k and theta 1, theta 2 up to theta p plus epsilon. So, this is a nonlinear model. So, f is nonlinear in the parameters theta 1, theta 2, theta p and uh, in vector notation we write t equal to t 1, t 2, t k and theta vector is theta 1, theta 2, theta p and then in terms of this uh, vector notation we can write y equal to uh, f t theta plus epsilon okay? or also we can write expectation of y. So, this is the model nonlinear model we are talking about expectation of y is equal to f t theta. If we assume expectation of epsilon is equal to 0. Okay. So, also we assume that you know we also assume that uh, epsilon are uncorrelated that is uh, and also variance of epsilon is equal to sigma square and epsilon vector follows normal 0 sigma square is so independent. Okay, so, these are the basic assumption we, we do in case of uh, uh, simple linear regression model also, simple or multiple linear regression model also. Okay, so, this is the same thing is true here also, we are making the same uh, assumption for the nonlinear model here. And uh, suppose, we have n observations like y u t u okay? like we had before you know, y i x i for i equal to 1 to n. So, here notation difference is u from 1 to n. Okay? Then we can write uh, y u for the u th observation is equal to f t u theta plus epsilon u. Okay? Uh, well, so <coughs> Now, we have the model say y u equal to f t u theta p 
plus epsilon u and we have to fit this uh, model. Fitting this model means you know you are given a set of observations 1 to n and fitting this model means you have to estimate the uh, regression coefficients here. Okay. So, what we by using the least square technique. So, we considered the residual or error sum of square error or residual sum of squares uh, call it S theta is equal to y u minus f t u theta whole square. So, this is basically you know if you put hat here this becomes the observed response and this is the estimated response. So, this is the uh, u th residual and residual square is uh, uh, S theta. So, this is the quantity we want to minimize uh, in order to find the least square estimates. So, to find least square estimates theta hat we need to different C 8 S theta with respect to theta. So, theta is a vector. So, uh, it has p components. So, if you differentiate uh, I mean so basically you know you have to differentiate with uh, theta 1, theta 2, theta p and uh, from there you will get p normal equations. So, the p normal equations are summation y u minus f t u theta. So, uh, differentiating this function with respect to say theta i and then the partial derivative this involves theta i. So, the partial derivative of this one f t u theta with respect to theta i and uh, that at the point theta equal to theta hat. I mean you, you I think you understood you know uh, this is the quantity we want to estimate. So, this equal to 0. Okay, so, this is the ith normal equation and uh, if you differentiate with respect to theta j you will get the jth normal equation this way you will get p normal equations and now you should realize that when this f t u theta u sorry theta is linear then this derivative partial derivative of this one f t u theta delta theta i is a function of T u only. If it is linear in T i, then when you differentiate it does not involve uh, T i sorry theta i. So, it is a function of uh, regressors only and independent of theta or independent of uh, I, I should say more specifically theta i here. Okay. So, when this model is nonlinear, when this model is nonlinear means this f is nonlinear. So, when the model is 
nonlinear in thetas. So, will be the normal equations. Well, so if uh, the model is linear, then the partial derivatives are independent of uh, theta, but if the model is nonlinear, then the partial, I mean, uh, these normal equations are also uh, nonlinear. Okay. Let me give uh, an example. Uh, consider this model say y equal to f theta t plus epsilon, where f theta t is equal to e to the power of minus theta t. Okay, that's my, that means we are considering the model e to the power of minus theta t plus epsilon. So, this is the model. Okay. So, what is my s theta here? My s theta is equal to y u minus e to the power of minus theta t u. It is only one regressor say t. This square sum over u. So, this is my s theta and uh, we want to minimize, uh, we want to estimate theta in such a way that this is minimum. That means, uh, we differentiate it to the single, single normal equation is uh, obtained by differentiating this s theta with respect to theta, this equal to 0 implies summation y i sorry y u minus e to the power of minus theta t u and then the derivative of this one uh, with respect to theta. So, this is t u e to the power of minus theta t u this is equal to 0 and sum over u. So, this uh, gives that you know your normal equation is uh, y u t u e to the power of minus theta t u minus t u e to the power of minus twice theta t equal to 0. So, so what I want to say here is that if the model is nonlinear, then the normal equations are also nonlinear. So, this is you can see that this is the normal equation and uh, it is nonlinear in theta. So, finding theta which satisfy this equation is not easy. So, finding theta hat is not theta hat means you know you solve this the theta you got is the theta hat. Okay. So, this is not easy here. Well, so now how to estimate the parameters of uh, nonlinear systems. So, estimating the parameters of a nonlinear systems. Okay. Uh, notational it may look uh, very difficult, but you know the idea is uh, simple here. So, I am given a model like this. Uh, what I am given is that I am given the model y u equal to f t u 
theta plus epsilon. Okay. So, this is nonlinear in theta and the idea here is that to estimate the parameter as you uh, you have mu you must have observed that if if the um, model is nonlinear then the normal equations are also nonlinear non and then the solving the uh, nonlinear systems of equations uh, are difficult so what we will do is that we will um, approximate this nonlinear function by uh, by linear uh, functions by linear function using Taylor series. Okay, so, this is nonlinear and we will approximate this one by a linear function. So, for that let me talk about the Taylor series as you know a Taylor series of a real or complex function f x that is infinitely differentiable in a neighborhood of a real or complex number a is uh, f x equal to f a plus f prime a by 1 factorial into x minus a plus f double prime a by 2 factorial into x minus a square like this. So, here you know we are expressing a function any function in terms of polynomial. So, if I uh, so here what we will do is that similarly we will approximate this uh, nonlinear function uh, by a linear function. So, we will take up to this term using the Taylor series. So, let theta 1 0 theta 2 0 and theta p 0 be initial values for the parameter for the parameters theta 1, theta 2, theta p and then we carry out uh, you know this Taylor series expansion about this uh, initial value. Okay. So, carry out Taylor series expansion of this nonlinear function f t u theta in the neighborhood of this point about the point say theta naught which is equal to theta naught 1 theta naught 2 theta naught p. So, we will carry out the Taylor series expansion of this nonlinear function uh, about the point or in the neighborhood of this point. Okay. So, we will take up to this uh, term because we are looking for a linear approximation for this nonlinear term uh, of this nonlinear function. Okay. So, here is the uh, Taylor series expansion. So, if T u theta is equal to 
if t u theta naught plus the partial derivative of this t u theta delta theta i theta i minus theta i naught okay and this derivative at the point theta i equal to theta i naught and this i is from 1 to p so this is you must uh, have understood that this is the uh, taylor series expan expansion of this nonlinear function up to the first up to the second term it's a linear term okay now uh, let me use some more notations so you set uh, this one as f u not is equal to f T u theta naught and this term will denote by beta i naught which is equal to theta i minus theta i naught and then this term uh, will denote by uh, z i u naught. So, that is nothing but delta sorry uh, partial derivative of this one theta i at the point theta i equal to theta i naught. Okay. So, now if you use all these notations uh, in this linear approximation uh, you can write uh, this one as say f t u theta so nonlinear function is equal to f u naught because f u naught is this plus z i u naught beta i naught and is i is from 1 to p. So, this is the linear approximation of, uh, of the nonlinear function in theta. So, here it, it, it is in terms of beta. Well, so uh, my y u this is the model we started with y u was f t u theta plus epsilon u. So, this is the model we started with. Now, if I plug this linear approximation of this nonlinear function here, what I will get is that I will get y u minus f u naught is equal to z i u naught beta i naught plus epsilon u. So, now you can you see that you know uh, this is a linear model in beta. So, this is same as you know uh, this multiple linear regression model. So, in this model now we can estimate this parameter the transform parameter beta i naught using the least square technique. Okay. So, we can now estimate this beta i naught for i equal to 1 to 
p by applying least square technique. Okay. So, uh, let us see you know how to do this thing. Uh, so, we have the linear model now y u minus f u naught equal to z i u beta i u sorry beta i naught i is from 1 to p plus epsilon u. So, we started with a nonlinear model and then we have a linear model by using the Taylor series um, approximation and we are trying to solve this uh, linear model now. So, if we this we can write in matrix form. So, if we write my coefficient matrix z naught which is equal to say z 1 1 naught z p 1 naught and then z 1 n naught and z p n naught. So, this is my uh, coefficient matrix and beta naught is my uh, coefficient vector uh, that is beta beta 1 naught beta 2 naught and beta p naught and let me write my response as uh, this y vector. So, y vector is y 1 minus f 1 naught and then y n minus f n naught. Okay. So, using this uh, matrix notations I can write uh, my simple linear I mean this this is basically the a multiple linear regression model now I can write it in the form y naught is equal to z naught beta naught plus epsilon. Then the estimate of this beta naught we know now we can apply a least square technique uh, of this one is given by beta naught which is equal to basically beta naught hat is equal to z naught prime z naught x prime x inverse x prime y. So, here x is uh, no, z naught is nothing but x in the multiple linear regression model. So, z naught prime y naught. Okay. So, what we have now is that we have the uh, let me write this in the vector notation only. So, we have the fitted model. So, the fitted model is uh, I mean of course, this is not the final uh, estimate. Uh, we wanted to estimate theta and now we are estimating beta, where beta is uh, sort of theta minus theta naught and uh, we will what we will do is that we will improve this uh, uh, estimate iteratively. Uh, well, uh, the vector this vector beta naught which is estimate of uh, b naught which is estimate of beta naught uh, this minimize y u minus f u naught minus 
beta i naught z i u naught square. Okay. Now, this is nothing but s theta basically uh, with respect to beta i naught. Okay. So, i is from 1 to p, where my this beta i naught is equal to theta i minus theta i naught. Okay. So, you need to understand this part. We want to estimate theta i's or theta, theta 1, theta 2, theta p. So, this i is from 1 to p. So, we started with some theta naught. We want to estimate theta, we want we started with theta naught and then we have used uh, this uh, Taylor expansion about this point theta naught to make the nonlinear function linear and after making the function after making the model from nonlinear to linear we have estimated this difference so we have estimated this beta i naught okay and that is uh, nothing but b i naught so let us write let us right beta sorry b i naught is equal to theta i minus theta i naught. Okay. So, we started with theta i naught as a estimate of theta i and then we see that this quantity this difference is we estimated this difference which is nothing but beta i naught and we have estimated this difference. Now, what I am trying to say is that you know uh, we started with the initial point and then we will try to improve this uh, uh, estimate iteratively. So, uh, let me put uh, one here. So, this gives my estimate of theta i at the first iteration. So, theta i 1 is equal to theta i naught plus beta i naught. So, we started with theta i naught, then we improved this theta i naught by theta i 1 okay? and this is the revised best estimates of theta. Okay. So, what we will do is that now again we will uh, place. So, we now place theta i 1 in the same role as theta i naught and go through the same procedure. Okay. Uh, so, this will lead to another revised estimate. theta i 2 and uh, so on. Okay. So, we started with uh, theta naught 
and uh, well uh, let me just uh, uh, give a little idea about uh, what I am doing here is that uh, we we have a nonlinear model okay and that is the nonlinear in theta so first what we do is that we take a initial uh, estimate of theta that is theta naught and then we consider the Taylor series expansion of the nonlinear function about theta naught and we make we approximate the nonlinear function by a linear function. And once we have the transformation from nonlinear to linear, now we can use uh, the result of simple linear regression model and we estimate the linear model and from that estimate of linear model using the least square technique, what we get is that from theta naught we get theta 1. Now, we put this theta 1 the revised estimate uh, in the same role as theta naught was initially. So, we will do the same thing you know again we take the Taylor series expansion of the uh, nonlinear function about theta 1 and then once you have the linear function, uh, once you transform the nonlinear model to linear model, uh, we can apply the results of linear regression and uh, from theta naught, from theta 1 you will get theta 2 and uh, so on. So, at some point after the jth iteration, what we will get is that we will get theta j plus 1 equal to theta j plus beta j. So, in the j, th j plus 1 th iteration we improved theta j by using the same technique uh, and the improved one or the revised one is that theta j plus 1. Okay. So, this one is nothing but theta j plus this b j we know what is this b j, b j is uh, uh, z j prime z j inverse z j prime y minus f j. Okay. So, where uh, this uh, z j prime is equal to uh, z i u to the power of j, I mean the notation not to the power of j, uh, this one and I am sure that you understand what is this, uh, this one is uh, z uh, i u is the derivative of that nonlinear function t u theta with respect to theta i and theta equal to theta j. So, we are using the j result of the j th iteration okay. and uh, my f j is equal to f 1 j f 2 j f n j prime and my theta j is equal to theta 1 j theta 2 j theta p j prime. Okay. So, you understood you know, from every iteration we are improving the uh, estimation 
and there should be some stopping criteria. Uh, so, when the result of jth iteration is not much different from the jth plus 1th iteration, we stop there. So, this uh, iterative process continue until uh, this uh, difference is i, this is the result of the j plus j plus 1 th iteration minus theta i j j th iteration when this is uh, less than some delta which is a small quantity uh, some some pre specified value say for example, 0 0 0 0 1. So, in, when you see that the difference between the result obtained from the jth plus 1th iteration and the jth iteration is very small, very significant difference that means, you can stop there. Okay. So, this is what uh, um, about the nonlinear estimation. So, you understood what is the nonlinear model. Uh, nonlinear means since nonlinear in parameters theta 1, theta 2, theta p. And given a nonlinear model, you now know how to approximate that nonlinear model by a linear model using the Taylor series expansion and uh, you also know how to estimate the parameters of uh, nonlinear estimation nonlinear model using the least square technique um, that's all for today thank you